Hi Colts fans, this is Brad Wells of Stampede Blue and we are recapping the first quarter of the 2012 NFL regular season for our beloved Indianapolis Colts. We start off with our offensive player of this quarter and that happens to just be Andrew Luck, the number one overall pick in the 2012 NFL Draft. Luck has been sensational, even though his completion percentage is only at 53% and he's thrown for four interceptions. Much of the reason that that's that is because of the first game that he played against the Chicago Bears where he had three picks and just looked terrible, just looked like a rookie. Since then though, he has thrown for four touchdowns and only had one interception and has led two fourth quarter comeback drives. One against the Minnesota Vikings, a game which the Colts won, and one against the Jacksonville Jaguars, a game which the Colts lost. And the reason they lost was not Andrew Luck, it was their defense choking away what was a big comeback by Luck and a game-winning or potentially game-winning field goal by Adam Vinatieri. So without that issue with Jacksonville, the Colts should really be 2-1. and one. And the reason that they are actually 1-2 and two right now and not 0-3 oh is because of Andrew Luck. And that brings us to our best rookie of this quarter, and that, that too is Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck has just been sensational. He's also the second leading rusher on the Colts with 80 yards. And to give you an idea of how little help Andrew Luck has gotten from his run game, Donald Brown has 155 yards in three games. Andrew Luck has 80. Yeah, when you're not getting that kind of production out of your running backs, and you have Andrew Luck running all over the place, you're really fortunate that Andrew Luck is mobile and that he's that good. Defensive players so far has to be Robert Mathis. Robert Mathis has really been sensational. He's got four sacks in three games. He's on pace for 16 sacks. The most he's ever gotten in one season is 11.5. He's really, really, really picked up the slack since Dwight Freeney got hurt. Really, the pass rush for the Colts has not been good since Freeney got hurt. And Robert Mathis has picked up that slack. Defensively, the Colts are really struggling, and we'll get to that in a second. Our unsung player for the Colts this quarter has to be Reggie Wayne. Reggie Wayne is off to the fastest start in his 12-year career, and that is saying something because Reggie Wayne has been a phenomenal receiver for those 12 years. 23 receptions, 294 yards. He's got one touchdown, and he's averaging 12.9 yards a catch. That is outstanding, especially for a guy his age. He's clearly Andrew Luck's go-to player, really bailing Andrew Luck out of a lot of situations. And Hall of Fame voters should really consider this season with Reggie Wayne once he retires because the numbers he's putting up right now, I think, are Hall of Fame worthy or at the very least on the borderline of the Hall of Fame. The unit really that has to step it up is the defense. They just have not played well overall. They're averaging 27 points per game surrendered and their run defense is in the lower half of the league. With these types of numbers, it makes you wonder why Jim Caldwell and Larry Corrier were fired in the first place. Greg Minuski has to get this defensive unit playing better. Jim Mercy did not re-sign veterans like Robert Mathis, and he did not make a big trade for Vontae Davis for these numbers to be where they are. I know the team is rebuilding. I know that there are different moving parts in here, and there's a lot of new players, but the defense simply must play better if the Colts are going to have any chance to compete for the playoffs, which I might remind everyone, that is the expectation of Jim Irsay, he has said so. One area that could be improved is the nose tackle position. Mookie Johnson has played about as well as you can expect him to play. With Brandon McKinney injured for the season, the Colts really need to get Josh Chapman back or have somebody else step up because Mookie really is not a full-time starting war daddy type nose tackle in a 3-4 defense which the Colts have. Colts' next four games are actually quite winnable, except for the Green Bay Packers, which is their next game. The Packers are 2-2, two and two, but it's a very deceptive 2-2. Two and two. They really should be 3-1, and one, if not for the horrible Monday night game on the touchception call. Packers really need to be 3-1, and one, but they're not the 2-2, two and two, and it's going to be a dangerous game. But after that, Colts face the Jets, the Cleveland Browns, and the Tennessee Titans. And the Jets game and the Titans game are on the road. The Cleveland Browns game is at home. So really in these next four games, I think at worst the Colts should be 2-2. Two and two. At best, they should be 3-1. and one. If they're 3-1, and one, that really puts them in a very good position to potentially make a playoff run. And I think it goes without saying the surprising story so far this season is the illness of Chuck Pagano, diagnosed with leukemia recently. He is in some sort of protective environment at a local hospital while he undergoes chemotherapy treatments. He will be missing games for as little as four weeks, as many as six, who knows. It's very possible that Chuck Pagano will not come back and coach this season, and that's very unfortunate because he won over the locker room. He won over the fans. He won over the fan base, the, the owner, the players, everybody. And it's unfortunate that a guy like him has to deal with something like this. 
The positive here is, is that his leukemia is very treatable and there's a very high rate of recovery, remission for this. So our, our hopes, our thoughts go out to Chuck Pagano and his family as he deals with this illness and he will hopefully recover from it. So that's our recap of the first quarter of the 2012 NFL season for the Indianapolis Colts. It's been a good quarter so far, about what we would expect it to be. If you're interested in the Colts, if you're interested in the NFL, subscribe to our channel, comment below. This is SB Nation.